Okay, this is a Japanese red pine. I'm just going to do this as a before shot and I'll show you what it looks like when it gets pruned. This one going up, see this little one coming down? Cut it to there. And these want to come back, take care of that. And we got some dead wood, get rid of that. Another dead wood, we'll get rid of that. So now we got this going flat, this going up. There's one small one going in the right plain so I'll cut that off what we want to do is tighten this up okay now this is coming around this is coming around we got branches on this side I got some nice ones here so I'm gonna cut this bigger one off using a bigger lopper there see now it's relatively flat mm -hmm. now this one is coming down too far so I'll take the lower one keep on a little bit higher and this one here I could no nope, this is dead so don't cut to the dead branch Now this one here, I have questions. We have one coming this way and this is running parallel. So I'm thinking of cutting this off and make this go the other direction with the other branches so that it'll be the proper back branch. We don't want these running parallel. No problem, get the big lopper, lop it off. How about that? And then I think uh, previously this was the sunny side and the front side is a little weak, which helps you in the visualization, but it's also heavy on this side. So I have to kind of clean this side up and then uh, well, this time I have more uh, balance in terms of the sunlight, so it should be okay. But I think before it was in a spot where this was almost always shaded and this side was sun. So I'm going to have to... Okay, I guess I'm done with this for now. So like I said before, the red in terms of technique is same as blacks except it's more forgiving because the blacks will not back butt most of the time and reds will most of the time uh, back butt so it it's more forgiving if you make a mistake versus on the black you have to execute the right technique at the right time so i'm thinking this is the front. He was weakened because of lack of sunlight on this side. This should improve this coming year. Um, and then this spring, I'll do more light pruning. Then it'll start to identify those branches and improve the branches. So that's what's missing right now is the uh, quality of the branch. But let's take a look at the fundamentals. Okay, this is the side view. These are much too heavy to turn. I wish I could put it on my turntable and then I could just spin it around like I normally do. Shooting out here is difficult. Uh, I can't see the monitor, so I might be slightly off target when I'm shooting these. This is the back side. 
Not a great idea to shoot against the sun. Hopefully it's coming out halfway decently. This is kind of the back side. This side was much heavier. So I had to take a lot of the branches off. And well, one of the reasons that uh, I was having so much problem is uh, I had too many. And so I couldn't get to uh, all of them all the time. Well, having a, a very good year, I think a lot of it is gone now. So I could start to work on quality on each one so um, you know some people are suffering with this pandemic and the shutdown but those of us in the right field at the right time are doing quite well and I happen to be on one of them but and more importantly I think I could start to get better quality of trees to show you those of you that are contemplating on making a Japanese garden, one of the principles they have is about the yin and the yang. Uh, although it's called yin yo in Japanese, but it's basically the same thing, balancing out. And the red being the feminine. So if you put a, a black and a red in your Japanese garden, it becomes very authentic. Okay, let's check our fundamentals. Roof flare. Movement. Taper. So we are at at least stage seven. What we need is more quality of branches. So, anyway, this is Heroes saying goodbye. I'll see you in another chapter.